Bésame, que quiero sentir tus labios besando. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Luna. Okay, so this interview is about the dance that you're going to teach here in Chile. Baile flocórico. Okay. <laughs> so the first question, um, why did you decide to teach it? Um, I decided to teach it because one, we didn't have a Baile Flocorico um, dance group at the school and also because I feel like by having a Baile Flocorico group, um, I feel that students are going to be able to learn about different cultures and maybe that will help them or encourage them to want to learn a different language. So the, I don't know so I'm not going to try it. Baile Flocorico. So the dance is uh -huh. Where does it originate? I know it's from Mexico. Yeah, so um, there's different parts of Mexico that have that do this type of dance, like Guadalajara, Jalisco, and from every different part of Mexico, um, it's danced a little different. The music is a little different, but it's all um, baile folklorico, that type of um, dance and that type of music. There's a lot of uh, instruments that they use, and it's very um, you do a lot of um, hand movements with the skirts and also um, with your feet. So there's different versions of it? Um, there's different types of, uh, within Baile Flocorico, there's different types of dances, so yes. Different versions, so that doesn't mean you can have a partner or not? Yeah, so some dances, um, you can have a partner, some are with a partner, and some are just like all girls with the big skirt, so it varies. Mm -hmm. So, like you said, the girls, they wear big skirts, mm -hmm. and then, what do they wear, like, at the top? They, so they have a special shoes, like, um, they have some shoes that have, like, a little tapping sound at the bottom, so when you're tapping on the floor, you can hear it, and then the skirts are, are the big colorful skirts, mm -hmm. so it varies in colors, and then the tops, usually, either it matches with the skirt, the same color, or you can have just, like, a white, nice blouse that goes along with the skirt. Do so, they have to do the hair like in, up from the bun? So the hair, because they're dancing, we don't want the hair in the way. That's why um, girls wear their hair either up in a bun or in uh, like braided uh, ponytails. So that, and then they'll have flowers all around their, their head. Mm -hmm. What about mm -hmm. the guys? And the guys, it's more simple for them. Simple. They, they wear black pants. They wear, usually they wear a white shirt. It could change colors, and they'll wear like a bow tie, or um, or just just a shirt. And then some of the boys, depending on what dance you're doing, they'll wear a sombrero, and then they'll wear um, their boots. Mm -hmm. So for the music, is there like a specific type of Spanish music, or can it just be like any Spanish song? So it has to be like that has the baile flocorico rhythm to it. There's so, in a lot of the songs, there's not a lot of um, lyrics. It's more un instrumental. Mm -hmm. So, the purpose for that, because they want the dancers to be the main, um, the main show. So. Mm -hmm. so it's not really lyrical, it's just like the rhythm. Some of them, but it's more, the music is always more, uh, more rhythm. So, which goes along with the feet movement. So there's a lot of tapping involved. Do you know how you dance the dance yourself? So I have some experience. I did dance when I was in elementary school, and I did dance once when I was in middle school. Um, so I do have some experience, but um, yeah, I'm excited to start the dance group. So you kind of bring them on too. Yeah, kind of refreshing. Um, my dance moves again. <laughs> so hopefully our school um, performs. We have, I think, 10 or 11 people joining. So hopefully we stay strong with the 10 or 11 people we have and then we will perform for the school. And hopefully that gets more students involved for next year because a lot of students didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. So hopefully by showing them and by them seeing the dance, they feel eager to join next year. So from from what time? From, so right now we're going to go from 8 to 10. There will be practices some days throughout the week. Mm -hmm. um, but for right now, we're just going to stick to Saturday. Where are you guys going to practice? We are going to practice outside. 
because we need an open area. Mm -hmm. So we'll be practicing outside. Those for the skirts, well, they're going to have to practice also holding their skirts. So uh, when we have the skirts, yes, because um, because when you hold the skirts up, you want to have them a little high. So the girls are going to have to get used to the skirt and the skirt is kind of heavy. So the girls are going to have to get used to that, but I know they can do it. Is it just like a flowy skirt? It's a, yeah, it's a big flowy skirt and it's colorful. And the reason for it being so flowy and big is because when you start um, like twirling the skirt, um, you'll be able to see the movement and that's the purpose of the skirt. Is this dance like a traditional Spanish dance? Like is there like, you know how like boys, the girls, like they like, I don't know how to do it, like per se, say it. Um, is it just like movement on their own or are they actually moving together? So they're moving like in unison. Mm -hmm. So they're all together, they're all doing the same dancing steps. So it's not like everyone just dances on their own. So they're a dance, it's like a dance team. So they're dancing together and they all, they all have to work together because so it could look nice. So the feet movement, the their posture, the skirts, um, they all have to be smiling. So, does the height of the dancer like help kind of? The height? They do like for partners. Do you just set them up together, or like, or do you do it by height? Um, it would it would be by height because you don't want yeah, too much height difference. Cause, um, but usually that doesn't really um that doesn't really matter because you're not actually spinning the girls. Like the boys are not spinning the girls. Um, if they're dancing in partners the girl is still having her skirt. So they'll dance like uh, in front of each other. But they're not like... Um, Holding each other. Right. Mm -hmm. So they're dancing together, but they're separate. Yes, because the girls still have to hold their skirts. So the main thing in the baile flocorico for the girls is their skirt. So they're not like dancing like a cumbia with the guys. They're, they're holding on to their skirts, but they have their partner. Mm 